Hello, in this video I'm going to demonstrate on how to set up the variable price barcode parser for our friends at Simply Nova. We're going to use this label here and the assumption that I'm making is that 108 represents dollar and eight cents. Um, and so I'm assuming that this is a price embedded barcode. And, and so with that assumption, I'm going to demonstrate how that gets set up and configured on Clover. All right, so first we need this app that's called variable price barcode parser and we want to make sure that the configuration is complete and that app is ready for use to have this configuration complete we want to close the app and navigate to another app called settings here's settings and in settings we're looking for accessibility and in accessibility we're going to turn on variable price barcode parser uh, use services see how it mine's turned on make sure yours is turned on as well and that will configure uh, what's needed now the rest is set up in the inventory right so we're talking about an item called Nova and let me show you the label again so the product code that we're using is two one followed by four zeros and you can see that that's literally the first six digits on the barcode here um, and the name is Nova so here's our item we gave it a name we made it variable that's very important right so it has to be variable uh, and then we made the product code 21 followed by four zeros. The rest of the fields are pretty much discretionary. You can use them at your uh, discretion as needed, um, but these are the minimum required things for our app to function. Okay, so now we have this item, NOLA, and it matches this label here uh, in that the product code matches the first six digits on the barcode, right? 21 followed by four zeros. And the rest happens in the register app, right? So we do the checkout experience here in the register app, and we can talk about barcodes now because barcode scanners. So there's the barcode scanner like this, and this one came from Clover directly. And because it came from Clover directly, it will function properly, right? So I scan the barcode and I get my dollar eight to be recognized. If you're using your barcode scanner and you're not getting that kind of result and everything else seems to be set up, a way to troubleshoot the barcode scanner is to try the using camera. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on this camera angle here. There's my head picking out, hello. And all we need to do now is just scan this barcode here against the camera at the top. And I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And as I've done it, you can see how it picked up on it just the same, right? So if you're getting it to work with this camera, but you're not getting it to work with this barcode scanner, that for sure means that this barcode scanner you are in possession of probably came from Amazon or from some other source, but did not come from Clover. Um, and in that case, just buy a barcode scanner from Clover and it will function. And the rest of the setup, uh, you can just reference on this video. Thank you.